Hey everybody, thanks for joining us out here today on the VSO Gun Channel. We have a new episode of How Powerful Is It Coming Your Way? Mr. Tactical Bacon is here to help us film. What are we shooting here today, boss? Today we're going to shoot 45 ACP out of this uh, monstrosity of a 1911, mostly just spare parts. An Obsidian 45 on the end of it, shooting Freedom Munitions Hush 230 grain ball. This ought to be cool. Guys, just throwing it out there, I know somebody's going to say it, suppressors do not influence muzzle velocity. A modern silencer should not contact the bullet in any way, shape, or form. In fact, it should, if anything, make it fly faster. So stop playing Call of Duty. Now, if you guys are unfamiliar with the way uh, how powerful is it operates, we have a 1990s, 1980s vintage full metal bodied van here. We're gonna shoot the first round through the quarter panel of the vehicle. Rather stiff door. As you can see, we already have bullet holes there. It will fly through the door contact the target inside, it'll tell us what the bullet's doing as it's flying through the cab. Should the bullet pass through the vehicle completely, there's another target on the other side that we can see what the bullet's doing on that side of the vehicle. We have a pro chrono digital chronograph here so that we can determine the velocity of the round. And then the second shot we take at the firewall trying to see if we can get a slug to go in through the firewall and into the cab, hopefully into another target showing us what the bullet's doing there. So, Bacon, are you ready to go? What do we see in there, boss? I think the laser goes through. 856, is that right? Is that correct? 856? Correct. So if we look at the effect here, less damage here than we saw with the 357, which is here, which is not something I expected to see, actually. Open the door, maybe. Oh, good lord. Big old nasty hole through it. I think you finally broke the connecting bar. Yeah, I think we did. Have to shoot might... out the window. Shoot out the window. Oh well, can't get her open. Go ahead and take a look inside there. We have fragmentation to the max in there. There is a lot of uh, pieces there. So I actually cannot, I would say that this is probably the bullet, but as you can see, it's keyholing pretty bad. Strangely, I don't see a bullet hole on the back side unless it buried itself in the upholstery over there. We're gonna have to go back to the other side of the vehicle and take a look and see what we can find. Yep. Did you miss? How would I have missed? You saw that's it. like the center mass in that target, right? So what has happened is when he hit that crossbar that runs the door, and we had to so graciously and uh, satisfyingly bust that window, uh, it caused the bullet to fragment as what we see there on the uh, on the target, and it deflected it up and it hit in here. So if we look right here, we can see a piece of. You can see fragmentation where that round went through. That's my glove right there that you're seeing pulse through there. And the bullet is just in pieces enough to shatter all of this in here. Did not have enough energy to even ding this uh, outside quarter panel. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a, another shot and see if we can get a 45 round to go through uh, this thing. Uh, because I don't think that's really a good representation, but you have to remember this the materials that these vehicles are made out of are random when you're talking about all the mechanisms. So, line up a second shot, see what we can do. I suppose this would actually be a third shot now that he blew out the window, right? <laughs> uh, I saw material fly that time. So, let's see. Now, we have a nice round hole in the target this time. See, this is right where it hit this time on the quarter panel, right? just a little bit lower and we have a nice round hole right here almost perfectly round where that round went through that target now let's see what we got going on back here looks like we have a nice round hole in the back let's see if we went through all right check it out we have a puncture that lines up but look at this guys we did not have enough energy to break the cardboard on the target when it came through. 
that I believe, boys and girls, will settle the, uh-oh, looky here. Looky here. What do we have there? That is a 45 ACP bullet that bounced off of a piece of cardboard on the other side of the van. So, any of you cops out there that use 45 ACP as your issued weapon? Mm, might think twice. I don't know. I believe we know a few local agencies that use 45, don't they? And yeah, we should probably show them this video. All right, guys, pause the video right now. We're going to go to the firewall. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Tell us whether you think it's going to go through the firewall or not. And we'll catch you guys with here in just a second. All right, bacon. Let it rip, boss. That didn't go anywhere. You didn't go anywhere? Yeah, you can see it. The only thing we can do is go check. But, uh, I, dude, I see pieces of bullet fragment in that thing. Here we go. Without any surprise, you would expect that if it didn't go through the side of the vehicle, it definitely wouldn't go through the firewall. But I don't know what to say about... Come here. Look at that. That was literally sitting in the entertainment system. That is the 45 ACP round, still hot from coming out of the, of the, look, I don't know how you can be more definitive than that. Two captured bullets out of a 45 ACP. Uh, I know that this, there's gonna be somebody that's like, oh, well, if you shot it out of a Glock, it would have been going faster or something. I don't even know, but guys, 45 ACP, I'm gonna have to say that how powerful is it? Not enough. I'm going to go play the lottery tonight, and 45 is going to be one of the numbers. I, I think it should. Bacon, You, these are souvenirs. You can keep both these. Go make a necklace out of them, one of them. This one's kind of sharp. You should use this one. Give this one to your wife. Um, if you guys have any ideas for combinations of ammunition as well as firearms combinations you want to see on how powerful is it leave a comment comment in the comment section down below and we'll do our best to get to us if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you show your friends especially if they shoot 45 auto uh, and hopefully we'll see you guys on a future video are you trying to get my nose hairs i don't want to breathe on lens Dude, no joke, the slug hitting the berm is louder. That, even with pork pop, man. That's funny. Really satisfying to shoot that window. <laughs> Wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs>All right, guys, out of the rounds we just fired, um, we thought the Aguila was probably the hottest um, of the four. So we're going to go ahead and, and use it as our test on the uh, chronograph. Um, normally, 45 ACP subsonic, but we're not sure when you put it through a rifle and a 16-inch barrel. So we're going to check that out now. Okay, 230 grain Aguila. Nine seventy, nine eighty four.